Hi friends, this is Autumn from Autumn Rain Builds, and today I'm here to talk to you about a new product that I wanted to show off that's going into my collection of robotic arms, as you can see behind me. So here is my new, let's see, a deep robotic arm kit. It's a five degree of freedom arm kit. Um, so like most arms, it comes with your standard um, grappling, so your gripper, and then this is a five degree of freedom, so Unlike the other arms that I have, which have an extra little bit of rotation, this one's only five degrees instead of six. So a little bit different right there. But other than that, price point on it was really nice. Um, comparatively, it was almost half of the price of the blue arm, the lay arm that I did a review on earlier. So, and it's quite an easy build. Um, the only parts that honestly are a big pain in the butt when you're working on it are trying to get the film like the little wrapper off the side of these those seem to be like one of the harder parts also I'm gonna post a video which has my full build on it and you can see I did accidentally break two of the pieces at the bottom where you have to bolt in I'm not sure if you can see it right here but they did come right back together with some super glue so a little bit less structurally integrity structural integrity i also had to drop off a single piece of the bearing ring which for some reason wouldn't screw in with it on so i'm short one bearing ring on it but that's looks like it's fine like i can't find an issue with it even when i'm doing it from scratch it seems to run fine with it yeah so this is nice it has um six potentiometers on it which essentially allow me to manually control the arm so i can do some testing on it it also has an at mega board on it so it's a little arduino with a cable so you can do some programming with it so you can either control it by your computer or there's also ports for a bluetooth module and a wi-fi module if you wanted to try that way so there's a few it comes with quite a few little nifty things um yeah, honestly, more than I expected for a product that's, I said a half, it's almost a third of the lay arms price. And only took me a couple hours to build, so this was a little bit easier to build than the more expensive versions. Um, the instruction manual was really nice. And what I'm going to highlight here, these little baggies. These little baggies come pre-labeled with exactly what it is you have no idea how nice that is when you're going through a product um and you're trying to build it yourself and you're like okay i'm gonna give you a box of just as you saw with my other arm it's just a box of screws and that's just kind of rough to build from scratch if you don't know what you're looking for or if you don't want to have to crack out a roller to figure out what it is which I had to do on my last build so yeah honestly I'm quite happy with how this turned out um, it's a little smaller than I was hoping for but as long as it can lift up the products I need then it'll be good this is going with my rest of my thesis project so I'm doing a continual learning project where we're trying to basically categorize shapes so this is the next part of that so we're trying to make sure it's completely independent so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and rate this fairly highly um the only thing another thing that i didn't come with are the batteries you do have to buy the batteries yourself um and they're kind of a unique model 18650 they're 3.7 volt batteries so it's a little bit hard to find them yeah Amazon them. When I bought mine, it actually came with a flashlight because it looks like there wasn't much of a way to buy it without a flashlight. So just something small. And yeah. Um, so I'll have a little bit of a video at the end of this if this is moving. And like always, um, please like and subscribe. This is Autumn from Autorain Builds. And yeah, I'll see you next time.